Hello everyone. Today, I would like to share how to create a material in D5 render professionally. Let's start with the basic settings. The first one is the base color, which defines the color of the material. The second one is the specular level, which defines the reflection level of the material. The third one is the roughness level, which defines the surface roughness of the material. The rougher the surface is, the blurrier the reflection will be. The fourth one is the metallic level. If you want to create metallic reflection, the value should be 1. For non-metal, it should be 0. Let's move to the maps. The first map is the base color map, which defines the texture of the material. Let's try with this map. It is important to set the base color to white to get the correct texture as the base color map. You can adjust the texture scale under the UV parameters. The second map is the specular map, which is used to define the different levels of reflection. Let's see how it works. The black area will be zero specular value and the white area will be the current specular value. The tones between black and white will be ranging between zero and current specular value. The third one is the roughness map, which defines the different roughness level. The black area will be zero roughness and the white area will be the current roughness value. The tones between black and white will be ranged between zero and current roughness value. The fourth one is the normal map which is used to create the bumpy surface on the material. You can easily create the normal map in Photoshop by applying normal map filter to the base color map. By applying this normal map, you can create a bumpy surface. After using the appropriate maps and adjusting the parameters, we will get the material like this. Here are the some examples using same method. Let's move to the metallic map. In this case, I want to make the pattern area to be metallic. So I use this metallic map. So the white area will be the metallic and black area will be non-metal. You can adjust the roughness level as you like. And finally, we got this result. This is how the maps are working and how to use them correctly in order to get the great results. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Have a nice day.